So if you're anything like me during the course of the working day, you end up with all these windows open. And to close them down, the only real way to get rid of them is to go through and basically start clicking on the crosses in the top right hand corner. Bit of a tedious task, but how do you quickly close all of these down? Well, this video is going to show you how you can do that just by clicking on this cross just here. As you can see, I'm using about 87%, 88% of my memory and 42% of CPU. So if I click on that cross now, that's going to run a little script, which is going to virtually close everything down. And there we go. I'm down to 38% memory and 3% or 2% CPU. All the details on how to do this coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this is going to show you how you can force close all the apps that are open on your desktop. Now you should be warned, force closing apps could cause problems. So please use this with caution. If you've got any work that's unsaved, then by force closing, it means it will not save your work. So do make sure before using this, you've saved any work that you need to save. Some apps may not close as well because of dialog boxes up on the screen, but this will generally, as you saw there, close most apps and it will save you a heck of a lot of time in closing down the apps manually. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to open up our browser, click in the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search the web bar, but click into the address bar and type in there cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. So that's CW tek.co.uk forward slash WD, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard to go to the website. And if you've typed the address correct, then you will see this page here. Go down to close all apps running on screen. Move your mouse over close all, left click once, and then you should see in the top right hand corner, close all dot bat isn't commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust close all dot bat before you open it. So this is a, a file that I've uploaded. I've created this script. So it's not something that's commonly downloaded, which uh, is why this warnings come up, but don't worry, it's perfectly safe. So just move your mouse anywhere over that message, and then you should see a bin and three dots. Move your mouse over the three dots, left click once, and then move your mouse over keep, left click once. Move your mouse over the arrow pointing downwards to the right of show more, left click once. Move your mouse over keep anyway, and again, left click once. And then what you wanna do is you wanna move your mouse over close all dot bat, but don't click, move along to the little folder just there if you're running edge, left click once, and that should open you up in the downloads folder or wherever it's been downloaded to. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to move this somewhere out of the downloads folder. So just right click on the file. And if you're running Windows 11, click on the scissors. If you're running Windows 10, then click on cut and then click on documents. Move your mouse to any blank area on documents, click the right mouse button. And then if you're running Windows 11, click on that icon there. If you're running Windows 10, then click on paste. So the next thing we need to do is we need to rename this file or the extension for this file. So if you're running Windows 11, then what you need to do is you need to go to the three dots up there, go to options, Go to view, the view tab just there, and take the tick out of hide extensions for known file types, and then click on apply, click on OK. If you're running Windows 10, then up on the bar at the top of the screen, click on view, and then make sure there's a tick in the box left of file name extensions. If there's not, move your mouse into that box and left click once. So the next thing we need to do is we need to right click 
on the actual close all dot bat. And then if you're running Windows 11, click on that just there. If you're running Windows 10, then click rename. OK, and then what we want to do is we want to change the dot bat to dot exe. So delete out bat and type exe just like it's shown on the screen there. Then press enter or return on the keyboard. And it says here, if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Move your mouse over. Yes. Left click once. And then what we need to do is we just need to move our mouse over close all dot exe and then click and hold the right mouse button and then just drag it down to the bar at the bottom of the screen. Once you've found a suitable place for it to go, then just let go of the right mouse button. Then what we want to do is we want to just right click on that icon, that little icon just there that's just appeared and then right click on close all there left click on properties and then what we need to do is we need to go to change icon just there and then click on OK to this error message and just scroll along and what we're looking for is we're looking for the cross the red cross so left click once on that click on OK then what we want to do is we just want to click on apply and then click on OK then we need to go back to our close all .exe just there click on the right mouse button and if you're running Windows 11 click on that if you're running Windows 10 then click on rename and again just go across to the end of XE delete out XE type in BAT press enter or return and then click yes on this message here and then go back down to your cross down there that you've just created click on the right mouse button then move over this close all here click on the right mouse button again left click properties and then what we want to do is we just want to click just to the right of the exe there in the target field and then delete out exe and type the word bat and then click on apply and then click on OK. Now we're actually ready. So let's just open up a few things on screen and let's just restore the sessions. Sometimes when you force close these things down, like I say, it, it comes up with a message saying that certain programs didn't close down properly. So that's why I say be aware of that. So, OK, so I've got a few things open now. And if I click on that cross just down there, the one we've just created, a black box comes up and there you go everything's closed down obviously this document window has stayed open but all the programs that I had open have now closed so there you go that is a great free quick and easy way of closing down all programs that you've got running or virtually all programs that you've got running on your Windows desktop but please be warned if you haven't saved your work if you've got a Word Excel PowerPoint publisher file open anything that you're working on and you haven't saved it you could stand to lose any of your changes or any of your work by using this false close but it will close down obviously a lot of programs so just be warned about that but is a great little shortcut for you to close down stuff on your desktop i hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below there's a link to my amazon store down there if you're in the market for a vpn a fire stick a fire tv cube or fire stick accessories there's links down there too donating buying or subscribing really does help support this channel and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money thanks for watching